Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martichur with your outlook for Black Friday, November 25th, 2016. For your Friday, we're going to have a, a system off to our north here, a very weak system. This is going to provide some more clouds for the second straight day. We had, uh, we're dealing with the clouds all day yesterday, a few spotty showers in places, and I really think that's going to be the same forecast today. Even less coverage of showers across the region as a whole, and uh, that will be main, mainly during the afternoon hours. Here's a look at uh, the GFS just showing this, these uh, showers, very few of them. And, and if you go over to the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar, it's even less. So it's going to be very, very spotty, very hit or miss. And this is a look at Friday morning. And as we go on further from this point, you can see just a few hit or miss showers. Not a big deal. Uh, this is going through now Friday evening. And then it finally moves off. And then we start getting clearing uh, in the overnight hours. We're going to have areas in the far northwest, though. Areas in the far northwest will have the opportunity to have a few rain and maybe some snow showers, and that will be here on Saturday. I think it's going to be for our far northwestern areas. Might get to State College. Not expecting any accumulations in this area at all, uh, but I do have the opportunity here for a few of those snow showers. You can see a few of those trying to survive. Uh, looks like a mixture of rain and snow. It's going to be a little bit too warm for any accumulations in this area, but uh, elsewhere we're looking at partly cloudy skies here on Saturday as uh, conditions begin to improve and you can see that here in the global models as well as we move into saturday morning you can see those snow showers are confined mainly across the far northern tier here maybe southern new york and uh, northwest portions of pennsylvania uh, there were some a few of those we'll get down to again we'll get down to about state college or maybe uh, uh, williamsport somewhere around that area but again this is gonna be a mixture of rain and snow so i don't think it's gonna be something that, I, that we have to worry about as far as accumulations are concerned elsewhere we're just partly cloudy here on saturday uh, and temperatures begin to drop a little bit as this system pulls away and then we get into sunday we get to uh, mostly sunny skies uh, the temperatures will be a little bit lower than what they were on Saturday as well. So we'll have temperatures that are going to be kind of right at normal, maybe slightly below on Sunday. But then uh, we start increasing the temperatures as we get into next week. Again, high pressure off to our south. This is going to be a recipe for wind starting to come in from this direction here. Here's your high pressure sitting right here. This is not in an ideal position if you want cold coming into the area because you have that return flow around it. That's going to allow for that warming to continue. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen right away, though. Uh, so we get into Monday, it's going to be like kind, of, kind of like a gradual increase. And then we have this system here is going to be cutting to our west in the Great Lakes. It's going to have a, here's the system itself, it's going to have a warm front with it. And a pretty potent system that's going to be moving through. So you can have some showers along the actual warm front that moves through here during the day here on Tuesday. So I think Tuesday is more of a showery type day. And then the actual cold front will move through here. Uh, during the day on Wednesday, but it does look like you're going to have the opportunity for some enhancement. Here's uh, an area of low pressure that's wanting to uh, move along this boundary here. The boundary is still sitting here like this. Here's your area of low pressure, and it's going to want to traverse that boundary and increase rainfall. So it might have, uh, it's not going to be the entire day here on, on, on Wednesday when you get this rain, uh, but it's going to be periods of rain, and some of that could be could be heavy, uh, which is very good. We need the rain. I mean, a lot of people say, argue they want snow, but, uh, you know, it's a little too early for that yet. We're still talking about uh, the end of November and uh, still a rain favors rain versus snow at this time of year. Here is that system cutting to our cutting over our, our area. And because that low pressure develops along it and rapidly develops, you have enhanced rainfall, a possibility here on Wednesday, Wednesday night, maybe even into early Thursday. So that period from uh, from Tuesday with a showery type weather moving into uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night maybe Thursday morning. That's going to be an unsettled period where we have the opportunity here for some appreciable rainfall and some very good rainfall, possibly. Uh, well, like, like I said, some areas very much need it uh, where we're below normal in, uh, in as far as uh, drought concerns. So this is, this is good. This is all a good thing. Even if you are a fan of snow, you have to appreciate this because we do need the rainfall in our area, and I think this will help out as we get into the middle of next week. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 25th, 2016. Have a great Black Friday.